Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Um, on, based on that question that we took from Grey Death just now, I want to ask you, what are, who are the top five politicians that we can count on in the fight uh, for the Second Amendment? Like, I want to know the guys who we could trust and who we need to really get behind and support. Well, uh, absolutely. Let's talk about that. And I would just say, you know, as, as a caveat, you know, it's probably easiest to look at past behavior. You know, I'm kind of reminded of the, the Apostle Paul who said, there's no one righteous, no, not one. And sometimes that can be kind of true of politicians. Mm -hmm. uh, so as soon as, you know, you highlight one, they may do something that you don't like tomorrow. So, you know, with that as a caveat, I mean, there are some leaders out there who uh, have just been doing a bang up job for the Second Amendment. I mean, I already mentioned uh, Lauren Boebert, who uh, I went out and met during the campaign season last year, and we endorsed her um, and, you know, got behind her campaign. Uh, she's already the co-chair of the Second Amendment Caucus, and she's, you know, co-sponsoring the right pro-gun bills. In fact, she's already been trying to uh, uh, dismantle some of the gun-free zones in, in Washington, D.C. Uh, the other co-chair is, uh, of course, Thomas Massey. I think probably all the viewers are uh, certainly uh, familiar with him. Uh, you, you can count on him whenever uh, guns are in the news. He'll be tweeting out something very pithy and wise and profound uh, for our side, for the Second Amendment. And plus, you know, he's introduced legislation like repealing gun-free zones at schools and things like that. Uh, so anyway, I think, you know, both of those are, and you know, the other thing, just going back to Lauren Boebert, the, the other thing I, I really appreciate about her is, you know, she got in Beto O'Rourke's face during the campaign, actually even before she had announced as a candidate, mm -hmm. when he came out and said, you know, bleep, yeah, we're going to take your guns. Uh, she drove several hours to his campaign stop when he came to Colorado, got in his face and said, hell no, you're not. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so I, I love that tenacity. And she's going to go toe to toe with uh, Pelosi and the other gals who are on the other side of the fence. I think another one that'll do that, too, is Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, who's also in introducing uh, some good pro-gun legislation. But anyway, um, other folks, uh, you know, like I, I love it when I see legislators who are introduced, you, you might say kind of the high octane stuff, you know, like uh, getting uh, suppressors out of the NFA. I mean, love to see that. So Mike Lee uh, has, I don't think he's reintroduced it yet, but he's had it in the past, the Shush Act. Uh, you know, that that's uh, fantastic. Uh, there, there are some other bills that, that would take them out of the NFA, but then still treat it as a firearm where you have to go through a background check. The benefit of Lee's legislation, he would treat it like a, like a magazine or ammunition where there's no background check. I mean, why shouldn't we treat them that way, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, what's his name yeah, again? Gonna, I'm sorry, what's his name? Mike Lee, Senator Mike, Mike Lee, Lee. Oh, Mike Lee, of, okay. Of Utah. Right, I know you're talking about, okay. You know, we were talking earlier how we're importing the stupidity of Europe. Well, if we're mm -hmm. going to import their ideas, <laughs> that's actually one thing they do right, is they do favor suppressors. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, isn't it interesting? They might, uh, not have a, they might not have a gun to put it on, but... <laughs> <laughs> they just throw the suppressor at the bad guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Use it as a paperweight. Right. Um, Another really good guy is uh, Senator Roger Marshall. He just uh, got into the Senate. He was in the House. Uh, he's he's had legislation in the House to remove SBRs from the NFA. Uh, you know, so that's you know, you, you love to see that type, those type of leaders taking the offense. And so uh, those that I just mentioned, if I could just, I don't know how how many I've listed there, but if I could just mention one who's mm -hmm. off off the hill. Mm -hmm. uh, so not in Washington, but he's a future guy to be looking at, mm -hmm. is Governor Chris Sununu of New Hampshire. Not only did he sign constitutional carry into law, he may be the only governor in the country, at least that I know of, who has vetoed red flags and universal background check bills. Mm -hmm. um, the guy has been awesome. Uh, there's talk in the state that uh, he wants to run for senator at some point in the future. 
If that's the case, can't wait to have them uh, here in Washington, D.C. So anyway, that's something, you know, kind of like Sports Illustrated does the, you know, the 13-year-old kid, you know, the future uh, mm -hmm. Hall of Famer to be watching for. Well, maybe that's uh, the Chris Sununu of New Hampshire. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, just to interject this in here it, uh, before before we comment on that, um, so here's here's some news I think that broke sometime today, at least to me. Uh, Utah set to become the seventh constitutional carry state this week. Um, this is in the truth about guns. Finally, we're seeing some real progress on civil rights now that President Biden is in the Oval Office. After passing both the Utah House and Senate by overwhelming margins, a constitutional carry bill is set to be signed into law by Governor Spence Cox this week. So uh, good news, right? Very good news. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, and actually Montana uh, is also very close. Greg Gianforte is going to mm -hmm. uh, sign that. Montana already has uh, constitutional carry in about 97% uh, plus of the state. So they're mm -hmm. just, uh, they're actually closing up a loophole. Uh, mm -hmm. See, this is time when pro-gunners can talk about closing loopholes. Uh, so uh, you, you, I think we're going to see Montana. Um, I, it sounded like you said seventh, but by our count, this would Utah would become the 18th state. Right. Someone, someone's uh, it, correcting me on that. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe okay. I read that read that wrong. Or yeah, uh, I've been known uh, to do it. Seventeenth. Seventeenth. So, so, yeah. I should have said. Yeah. 17th. Some places don't already count mm -hmm. Montana. We have because mm -hmm. it's 97 percent of the state. So Montana, if you count Montana, there's already 17 states. So Utah mm -hmm. would be number 18 if you don't count Montana. So e either okay. way, here's the exciting thing. There are so many uh, constitutional carry states that we may get this year. Mm -hmm. I love it when we get more constitutional carry states than there are uh, red flag states. And, mm -hmm. and that could happen this year. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we start seeing states repealing these red flag laws. Yes. Um, that's a big thing. OK, Walter, did you want to um, respond to the politicians that we could count on that Eric mentioned? Um, I've heard, I've heard of some of some of them. I heard of the first congresswoman because she was uh, she was carrying in, at Congress and they wanted to change the rules <laughs> based on her right. carrying. And then people were all scared of her, which, oh, which okay. makes no sense. Um, I've even heard though, some yeah. probably even though probably a lot of those people that carry already are Democrats. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Possibly. Uh, yeah. And rightly so. Yeah. I'm good. They should all carry. All of them should carry. You know, <laughs> but what, what, what's interesting is, you know, and, and this just shows Democrat privilege. Nancy mm -hmm. Pelosi is slapping a five thousand dollar fine for a uh, congressman that won't go through the magnetometers yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And so she's already starting to hand out the fines. Meanwhile, she's going in Sneaking there. Sneaking around. Going... <laughs> yeah. Special rules. Yeah. No, Don't go to Special the hair salon, rules. except if I go to the hair salon, <laughs> yeah. then she could go to the hair salon. But Eat no one else. ice cream. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, lots of craziness out there. Um, I hope you guys uh, that are that are watching or listening to this, uh, you can you know you can let us know what you think about the folks that Eric mentioned. If you have some people out there that you think are good people, add that to the conversation. Um, you know, I'll be I'll be happy to hear that. Uh, Walter, was there anything before I move on to the next uh, you know next question here? Any any feeling on what's going to happen in the Supreme Court with this thing about the police coming into your house and stealing your stuff without a warrant? Oh, yeah, that's the um, Caniglia. I always want to say Caligula. It's, it's not Caligula. <laughs> Caniglia. Okay. We're actually involved in that. Um, I'm really excited. I mean, first of all, the, the, yeah, the case is uh, police took a couple's guns, lied to both of them, basically telling them that, uh, uh, well, without getting into the weeds, lied to them, but ended up taking the guns. And then they used what they called a, a caretaker, community caretaker exception to the Fourth Amendment. Uh, that is really dangerous if the police all over the country are able to, you know, we're just caretaking for the community. And so oh. we're going to take your They'll guns. They'll caretake the, the living daylights out of all your so, stuff. Yeah. Let me correct it. So if you lie to the police, you can go to jail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if they lie to you, standard, it's yeah. okay. It's all right. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Yeah. But anyway, I, I'm really excited about this because I think, you know, adding 
the, the three justices that we got on the Supreme Court, if there was one thing that they are, is, is they had pro-gun records. And so uh, we're, we're very much looking forward yeah. to this. Hopefully we can we're rely open. on that. We can't rely on Justice Roberts, obviously. No. Um, no. You know, no. And we've had problems with the Supreme Court taking up Second Amendment cases. That's because of oh. him. Almost for good reason. Yeah, the pro-gun justices were hesitant to because they couldn't rely on Roberts. I mean, that's mm -hmm. kind of the, the, the back news that, that we got from that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I know we were all disappointed when they didn't take up the New York City case. Mm -hmm. But in, in retroactively, maybe that was kind of a good thing, given what, you know, Thomas was concerned about and, mm -hmm. and, um, and, and you know, a couple of the others. So, mm -hmm. anyway. Anyway, we're, we're looking forward to this. Uh, Coniglia case. Yeah, uh, Alan Powell, 1776, says Coniglia v. Strom. Yes. There you go. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, keeping us honest around here. Although the this is uh, this is uh, this is the British all over again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just come into your. When they're going to come in your place and kick you out and live there too? Is that what they're going to do? Yeah. For the community. Kick you out of your house and live in your house for the community. Um, we there's... do have a Third Amendment for that, but you know, I guess yeah. it doesn't matter. That. That's old. That's a bunch of bunch of old white guys made that up back then. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, there's I'm just... you know, police departments in America. Uh, quite a few police departments have gotten really crazy with that, with taking people's property and never returning it, and using that to fund the police departments themselves, right? And you so, know, who, who knows where that stuff goes? You know, it doesn't yeah. always go to funding. It just goes. It goes away. So. Yeah, very dangerous, very dangerous thing. <laughs> um, all right. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.